Hey everyone, welcome back to the Visual Dev channel. My name is Lacey. In today's video, I want to show you the very best tools that I think you should check out if you are a beginner in the no-code space and you're just trying to kind of figure it out, like what tool would you use for this project or that project or how do these tools work, what would I do? So. Let's walk through those tools. Before we get into that, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and like this video, and let's get rolling. So I'm gonna walk through six tools, like I said, and these tools are really, really great for building things like landing pages, mobile apps, funnels, surveys. Um, you can do all sorts of wild stuff. You can connect them together and make this big, harmonious, no-code um, masterpiece. So the first one that I'm going to talk about is Card. And you may have seen my video on Card that I did before. Um, if not, you can check it out somewhere. Um, somewhere around here. But Card is a really great platform when you are building um, really simple websites. Um, what they also allow for is custom code. So you could take something like a member stack, put it on top of Card, and then suddenly you could have a, a membership website. So how Card works is that you have different sections that operate as pages. So you would essentially build your website and then you're going to link it all together and it's going to act as a multi-page website if you have it set up that way, but it's really only just one page. And I think it's super, super friendly for beginners. Um, I have seen people build some really wild stuff using card. We're going to have more card tutorials coming up, so be sure to check those out. The next tool that I wanna to talk to you about is Airtable. Now, Airtable is a really great tool for uh, using it as a database. So if you need to store information and then access it, you're going to need a database. And you can connect um, Airtable with different platforms. So you can customize your Airtable, it's what they call as a base, um, and that's like your database, what you're operating and using. You can customize that. Um, they have released a lot of new things that you can even use further into your Airtable base, um, but it's a really great, really easy one to get into and understand how you're gonna connect um, your records to your website, how to access those records, how to update those records. So I highly recommend checking it out. The third no-code tool that I cannot recommend enough, um, they have like such a soft spot in my heart because they are just kind people and they ship regularly really great product updates. Um, I've used them before for builds and I just love playing with it and seeing what I can do and that is Glide. So Glide allows you to take a Google Sheet, your, a spreadsheet, and turn it into a fully functioning app. And I'm not kidding when I say that they, you know, are doing product updates all the time. On the Visual Dev FM podcast, we talk about Glide nearly every episode because there are always updates with them on what they're doing with their product. And it's a really fun, easy way to get into it. You can have um, pretty advanced workflows and customization using Glide. And really it's just pulling data from a spreadsheet. Um, I will try and find some really great examples of Glide apps and I'll put them in the description below for you to check out. Also, I did do a video on Glide with building an app. So be sure to check that out as well. Now that I've mentioned Glide, I can't mention Glide without mentioning its counterpart, which is also a really fantastic no-code tool that doesn't get enough recognition. Um, I know Ben from the visual dev team will definitely agree, and that is Google Sheets. Google Sheets is a fantastic tool to organize your information, to use it as a database. You can run so many different scripts and work with so many different types of data using Google Sheets and it connects really well with things like Glide. So definitely check that out. I know that you could look at Glide, or look at Google Sheets and say, well, why would I use Google Sheets and not use Airtable? Or why would I use Airtable and not Google Sheets? 
and I think it really just comes down to what you prefer to work in. Uh, the layouts are a little bit different. You can do some things in Google Sheets, you can't do an Airtable and vice versa. So it really just depends. Um, if you're looking for a project and you just want to start out super, super simple, you don't want to, you know, overwhelm yourself, then I would definitely recommend checking out Google Sheets. Another really great tool, and this is the first um, time that we're mentioning a tool that operates like this, and that is Zapier. So Zapier is an automation tool, and it works kind of like, if you think of it, think of it like this, if you're making a statement that says, if this, then that, you would want to use Zapier. So let's say that you want to update a record. You would say, okay, if this record is updated, then perform this action. And while there is a separate tool called if this, then that, or IFF, T, whatever. Um, I think Zapier is better for this. Um, it's easier to use um, and I just really recommend it. I use it on some client projects and it's really easy. The workflows are super easy to get in there and build out those flows. Um, you don't have to have extensive knowledge of working with APIs or anything that could be um, a little bit intimidating when you're getting started. So I highly recommend using Zapier. The last tool on my list that I think is really good and helpful to check out is called Typeform. Typeform allows you to collect data um, in the way of a form. So, but it's more of a conversational form. It's not like you're just filling out all this information top to bottom and it's kind of this boring, just rudimentary process. It's a really um, intuitive, great platform and you can also do quizzes on there, uh, surveys, these all, um, they have an API that you can connect to your project. And I also like that you can embed it directly into your uh, website or whatever type of project that you're using. So you can collect data feedback uh, from your users. It's a fantastic, easy, great solution. And I absolutely love the tool. It's one of my absolute favorites. Just everything about it makes me happy. So I definitely recommend checking it out. And that's what I've got for you right now. So don't forget to subscribe to this channel and like this video and I'll see you soon. Bye.